Hmm, okay. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going through Hisao's mind at the moment more than anything. I mean, there is a lot that's going to happen in this game after all. Wait, me and welcome. My name is Shisha Anime and welcome to the next part of Katawa Shoujo. Now, I apologise for this being a day late, but I had to go to bed early last night because I had work in the morning. I had to wake up at like half five in the morning for it. So, <laughs> now I'm able to record everything just about um, instead of time left over to wake up. Ooh. So now, I'm here. I've got my... Hefty drink tonight. Mm. It's a it's a big old bottle of water, so should be interesting. <laughs> Hopefully, won't, I won't be going like a racehorse in between. <gasps> so, guys, Igor Shulka, for a change, I'm not among the first ones to come to the morning class. Okay. I said almost everyone else seems to be here already. Okay, that's a bit different. I recognise most of my class by their faces by now, although names escape me still. That happens a lot when you're first in the class. By goodness, I struggle with names a lot. Oh dear. Oh, transition. The class goes on lazily. I think I'm starting to get into the rhythm of the school. Oh. That's one way to do it. So at least I'm actually learning how to get on with the school now. I've even stopped worrying about taking notes and being overly attentive. attentive. The first days, I was pretty high strung in class. Muto finished his lecture about electricity early. I continues without a pause about the festival. Okay. So, as you know, the festival is on the day after tomorrow. I hope everyone's projects are going to be successful this year. I hope they will be anyway. <laughs> Have a good time. But also, come Sunday, please keep the meaning of this festival in your minds. <laughs> Does that not sound like the type of voice that Mudo would have? I mean, that, that's the voice I'd imagine him having. Games and fried food! Huh? Really? Everyone must have them, so do I wait what? Yes, thank you, Mikado. <laughs> oh, she was talking about him. Did she mean like, me, she like, uh, telling Mudo to bring that stuff in, or was that just me? I, I may have missed that one. Oh, hey, 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 a minute. But what I meant was more that. Sorry, for some reason it skipped twice then. Uh, thank you. The remainder of his sentence is buried beneath the ring of lunch bells, and everyone starts packing their things. Oh, poor Muto. Muto gets no respect. Muto deliberates for a moment, but since almost nobody seems to pay attention anymore, he gives up and sits down. <laughs> poor Muto. Oh, God! Demon painting! You are gonna die in this crowd! Oh, help me. He's drowning in the people. Oh uh, yeah, my camera might start lagging a bit, so you may have to forgive me a bit. I, mean, uh, I, c I don't know if it is or not, it probably is, because the stunts would like with a shower bit. It's crowded in the hallway. Or well, as crowded as hallways in the school, probably yet. Yeah. Most of the students seem to be heading down for the cafeteria. Okay. Oh god, it's Emmy! Hello! It's Al! <laughs> I'm going to make you a one time only super extra special lunch offer. Wait, what do you mean? Emmy's homemade lunchbox, <gasps> and the privilege of enjoying them in private with two bombshell beauties. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of this. <laughs> Her overly flirtatious sales pitch echoes in the hallway. A remarkable feat since it's full of people. Emmy <laughs> strikes a very confident-looking <laughs> pose as there is an attempt to one-up her own ridiculousness. Apart from her very modest chest. <laughs> I've got one too. <laughs> I'm making the V for victory sign of the hand. Of course. <laughs> Sounds delicious. To what do I owe this honour of being invited? <laughs> Please do tell. You stood there looking really lost and sad, so I thought I, you could use some company. Aww. That's probably the most depressing reason to match me. Oh. I never thought of it like that. Oh, that's made me depressed now. <laughs> oh. So how about it? You're probably really lonely, and you would, and would, would eat that awful cafeteria food all alone, otherwise. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Sure, I'll have lunch offer. I'll have your lunch offer. With pleasure. <clears throat> Definitely. <laughs> Let's go to the reef. Oh, okay. The roof? Why the roof? Why not? It's, it's sunny today. Because that's where we eat lunch. And if I don't get up there, then she'll probably wander off and then I just know she'll go hungry because she never packs a lunch for herself. Two girls. 
Be sure, Jules. I'm praying right now, right? I hope this. Shut up, phone! I hope that it is. Lily? Is it Holocaust? I'm trying to remember everyone's names. I, I, I have the worst memory. I never think. Oh, yeah, I've read it. Who will? Come with me. Oh, shut up, phone. Shut up, phone. Uh, let me put my phone on silent. Sorry about this. Shut up, phone. I'm busy recording. <laughs> About answering my question or waiting for a response, she grabs me by the arm and drags me through the waist. Oh, thank you! Um, bye there, Demon Painting! Help me! You can rot there, Demon Painting. I had a save in your ass. I turn to make conversation on the way. Uh, why do you have an extra lunch? Actually, I wonder why. Oh, okay. Emmy smiles guiltily. Actually, it's yesterday's lunch. Okay... I'm very curious now into who it is. I slipped in and ran at lunch and forgot to eat it. Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, so she forgot it. Alright, the lagging will stop. I'm sorry about that, guys. If it did lag, I... I apologise. The stairway to the roof is a little... D dilapidated. But it's clearly been used recently. Okay. At the top of the stairs is a door. Complete with missing padlock. <laughs> okay, thanks to you, security. I wonder who... The intrepid individual was that removed the lock. Hmm, that's a good question. I wonder who. Let's see who's on the roof, shall we? Wow. Uh, this looks like more I'm outside ready to like put a, a bet on a racehorse than I think. But it looks like those are the gates. <laughs> like those gates down there are like the horse bit and gates like you'd like look through and watch them from. I, if I've got that wrong, I've never been to a, a horse camp or anything, alright? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making random guesses. Amy shuts the door open and steps beaming into the sunlight. Oh. There's only one person this can be. Only one. I can tell just by the silhouette, but I've forgotten her name. Oh, God. Neen. Neen. That's it. Neen. Suddenly a tall, dark stranger appears out of nowhere, standing imposingly in front of us. Emmy flinched back, almost falling back down the stairs. Oh, okay. Eee, hello. It's her, isn't it? Yipes, she scared me, Rick. It's Rin, okay. <laughs> Wait, isn't she? Yep, the no-armed girl. Hello. Noticing that Lin is speaking to me, Emmy looks curiously at me. Oh, I'm... Yeah, there we go. My mic's a bit better there. There we go. You two, you two know each other? I look confusedly at Emmy. Yeah? She's that friend of, she's that friend of yours? Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, think about it. No arms, no legs. Friends. <laughs> Is that wrong to think like that? Is it? I'm, I'm sorry if I upset anyone. <laughs> Let us turn the gaze towards the clouds drifting above the school. I didn't know you knew this person, Emmy. Hmm? Well, now she does. Dots. The awkward silence lasts only for a few seconds until Amy lets out a tiny giggle, shrugging the coincidence off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I invited his out for lunch. If you know him, that's just better. Oh, does this mean I don't get food? Or did you invite him for lunch without me, without the lunch? Wait, what? what? <laughs> She's a glad, okay. Uh, Niva, food for free. Nice timing. <laughs> no, nice, nice timing. That was nice thinking. You should read properly, me. Come on. You didn't go through 11 years of school for this. And two years of college. <laughs> they walk to the other end of the roof while I stay at the clock tower for a while, taking in the atmosphere. There's nobody else but us here. I guess the roof is not as popular as it is in our other schools. To be honest, in the UK, you're not allowed on the roof at all because there's no safety rent, there's nothing. You are prohibited. Go up there, you're in trouble. I mean, if you go near the edge, you fall off. It's that dangerous. <laughs> we don't do rules here in the UK. Hell no. A few run down benches and tables are scattered around the edges, perhaps in an attempt to make the rooftop look less desolate. Uh, nice try, but it uh, didn't work. A small pebbles covering the roof rattled beneath our feet. Okay. I peeked through the chain link fence to take a look at the school grounds and beyond. 
Students are strolling in pairs and groups around the quadrangle and at the cafeteria. Makes sense. A few delivery trucks are driving past the school towards the convenience store nearby. Oh, okay. Somewhere a watchdog pass a, a passerby. Wait, how far are we see this? A watchdog? Jesus Christ. Somehow when I look towards the town centre, the small town feels feel strikes me very strongly. Most palpably. Oh my god, palpably. I need to expand on my English. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the hectic lifestyle of, of big metropolises seems so far away and foreign here. Nobody has to run to catch a bus like their life depended on it or get their senses overloaded by the neon lights and traffic jams. <sighs> I'm gonna be thirsty tonight. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I still got some of the dust from when I was working. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was grim. <laughs> oh, I guess now it's all off. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh god, that feels like sandpaper. Uh. <laughs> I feel surprisingly optimistic about this new life of mine. Looking at my new hometown, even if it's going to be mine for only one short year. Finding out about my illness and having to move away from home all came so suddenly. I haven't had time to think about think how I feel about it. It's definitely mixed feelings, I'll say that. When I step out of the shadow of the clock tower to the open, I feel warmth touching my back. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, it's the sun, okay. There, there was many things that could have been, alright? Many things. Don't, don't judge. <laughs> the sun shines from a perfectly clear cerulean sky. Cool breeze sweeping over the rooftop makes me shiver, but only briefly. The wind carries the scent of trees and flowers, not smog and car exhaust like it used to just a few weeks ago. Yes. Oh my. Like, I went to this one place once. It was like a massive forest area. I, I There was lots of bugs there and I think we saw like dragonflies. We saw, we saw so many things. I'll tell you what, the air there. Oh. You'd never know nothing like, until you, like it until you went there. Beautiful. Man, I think I was about seven, eight years old when I saw that. Jesus Christ, I was young. <laughs> Amy settles on a bench with Lynn in tow and produces one big and two small lunchboxes from her bag. I wonder who the big one's for. Probably not me. <laughs> but I imagine it's for Amy. Come in here, sir. What are you waiting for? She's beckoning me to join them, making room on the already small bench. Aw, thank you. Oh, 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 hi. Uh, this is very close. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I seat myself on the corner of the bench and take a little space as possible. It's pretty cramped, but somehow all three of us fit on it. Okay. Impressive view. Hmm, definitely. Amy suppress suppresses a giggle and places a lunchbox in front of the ring and hands another lunchbox to me. Okay. Here you go. Lunch is promised. Homemade no less. I'm impressed. <laughs> I want to know what she's made me. Wow, this looks really good. Thanks. I made them myself when I can. Conversation dies off as I set about the business of feeding myself. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Whew. Taking a few bites, I glance up and notice Rin definitely opening the lunchbox and popping a fork full of food into her mouth using only her feet. Oh, she doesn't have hands. Even though I've seen her before, I can't help but be impressed at her dexterity. I can't. I can't. I can't help but be impressed myself. I mean, that is really different, difficult. I mean, especially painting. I mean, I've seen people paint with their feet, with their mouth. My God, some of the paintings are amazing. I mean, I really love it when people take advantage of their disadvantage, and it is amazing. I mean, nothing impresses me more most of the time than that. It's also a reminder of the sort of place I am right now. I'm in right now. There we go. Would I ever get used to sights such as this? Probably. I can't decide if getting used to such a thing would be a good thing or a bad thing either. Does getting used to this place mean that I'm giving up on being a normal person? No! It's Al! Come on! There's no such thing as a normal person. We know this already. Everyone's unique. What well, does this just mean that I'm becoming more understanding about those around me? Yes! That line, that right there. I'm distracted from my thoughts by the sight of Emmy tearing into her, her lunch as if it had been assaulted by her ancestors. Okay, um... 
You seem pretty hungry. Yeah, she's really... So, I'm guessing the big lunch was for Emmy then. <laughs> Dang. Emmy looks up. Mouth half full, as well as before nodding. Okay. My morning run always works up an appetite. Ooh. Same with me and work in the morning. Ooh, yeah. Makes up plenty of room. Which is great, because then I burn through lunch pretty quickly. Helps to keep my girlish figure... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nicely played. <laughs> I like that one. What would happen if you'd lose it? Would you become a... Um... No, not quite, Dean. I don't think you'd become a man like that. <laughs> I really need to choke about to laugh. <laughs> it's a figure of speech. Does you figure out to run in the morning <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I like Rin, she's funny. Do you always talk like this? Yeah, probably. Talk like what? Like what? Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> I think that's my question. Yep, uh, never mind. So, uh... Shocker to think of small talkers settle on the obvious question. What's that then? How do you two meet? Yeah, that's a fair question. Rin seemed content to let Amy answer this question. Okay. Someone in the housing department thought that we'd compliment each other well. So we were assigned rooms next to one another. Okay. Compliment each other. Arms, legs. <laughs> oh god, arms, legs. I've done that the wrong way around. Oh my god. Like shoes on a, and a suit. Huh? You, you you haven't caught on his hand? Let me Google some of my confusion. Put us together and we've got all our limbs, get it? Exactly what I was thinking. Ah. So I started helping Ring get ready in the mornings, and that was that. I mean, you can't help someone get dressed in the morning and not get along. That's true. I mean, if you didn't get along, you'd stop. That's the way it is. Let's see. We'll choose a new roommate. I mean, uh, I mean a new neighbor. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> I totally messed that up. We're going to choose this as a moment to interject. I have trouble with shirts. No comment. Right, that seems fairly obvious. That was my thoughts exactly. <laughs> really? Kind of? <laughs> this is an effort, but at least Emmy seems to find the whole thing funny. That combined with the fact that Din is genuinely curious makes me feel slightly better and yet confused. <laughs> I mean, you've got no arms! No arms! So, a panel of show seems like one of those things that would be... difficult. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna start talking now. It'll save me a lot of trouble in the long run. <laughs> Not in what I suspect is meant to be a sage manner. I see. The conversation does as I turn my attention back to my lunch. Okay, time to eat it. It's really quite good. <laughs> oh, yes! And that's our lunch. Emmy finishes her lunch first and makes a contented noise. Oh. Ah, that was good. As she busies herself with cleaning up her lunch, Rin speaks up. Oh. I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What have we got to drink? With a flourish, she reaches into her bag and removes a trio of juice boxes. Do you see me as anything I realised? I'm able to read some of the words pretty well in this game. When it comes to other games, I can't say the simplest of words. <laughs> I don't know what out. I don't know why. She tells me one that appears to be cranberry juice. One to Rin that appears to be some kind of strawberry milk. Ooh, complete with pink colour scheme. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and keeps an equally pink box of some kind of fruit punch for herself. Oh, okay. Rin dexterously stabs her straw through the top of her box and begins to drink. I'm once again impressed by how flexible she is. This time I keep my comment to myself. Yeah, probably best this time. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't think either Emmy or Lynn are the sorts of people who think to think twice about the way they look around their particular disabilities. Peas in the pod. What can I say? I mean, these two are brilliant. <laughs> one's very happy and very loud. The other one's very quiet and very funny. <laughs> especially so. Indeed, she gives off the impression of being entirely unaware that she's missing any limbs at all. No, she looks like she doesn't even acknowledge it, really. Whether or not that's the conscious decision is another matter. I'm honestly not sure. Hmm. So, he's out. How do you like it up here? 
Oh, oh, what, you mean on the roof? Hmm? It's quite nice, actually. I like high prices for the view. That would normally be me. <laughs> but only if I'm not... As long as I know I'm safe, then I'm fine. If it's one where I don't feel safe, like climbing on the scaffolding. Not the best feeling in the world. <laughs> not the first time, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me up here. And for lunch, too. Mm -hmm. Immigrants, a thousand watt grin. <laughs> Please buy my response. Please buy my response, I suppose. No problem. Oh. Feel free to eat with us next time, too, okay? I will make you a lunch, but you can bring your own up here. No lunch at all? No lunch service? I don't know. <laughs> that was the only reason I came was to free lunch. I like free food. <laughs> Everything looks more commended. <laughs> there we go. Try to take advantage of my good nature. The nerve. <laughs> she giggles. Well, if that's your answer, I guess then I'll just keep eating lunch all along. <gasps> Oh no, don't make me think that no! <laughs> That's cruelty. I'm suddenly assaulted by the most heartrending puppy dog guys I've ever seen as every That's exactly what That's exactly what I got. Kidding, I was kidding! It's, I'm sorry! I'd love to eat lunch up here again. Good location, and the company's okay too. If it finds a bit of my declaration of okay, but seems happy enough that I've accepted her invitation. I guess this makes us friends now. Weren't you already friends? I mean, sure you may have been just workout buddies in the beginning, but doesn't this count as friends? I don't know. Or at least acquaintance. Okay, at least acquaintances then. Nice bell rings. Signals in the return downstairs. Oh. Then you didn't finish your lunch again. Oh god, I wasn't that hungry. <laughs> I thought she said, if you don't eat more, you're going to fade away. Oh god, that's dark. Uh, Rinch shrugs, as if... As if this is an acceptable risk. <laughs> Come on, we better get going. Okay, back down the stairs. Hopefully we're not smeared by the crowd again and we'd lag. <laughs> the three of us head down the stairs together. And we're in class. The afternoon class passes. Once again, I find myself without a plan for something to do after school. So I head to the library to return a couple of books I finished reading. <gasps> we're going to the library. It's been a while since we've been here. Dang. Walking inside, I see that there are about as many students here as there were on Tuesday. All the more evident from the almost total silence enveloping the room. Okay. Oh god! <laughs> that legit scared me. <laughs> this cute game scared me! Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's the first for everything. I shall drop the book so I borrowed into the return slot in the counter. You guys suddenly pops up from behind it. Yeah, quite startled from the banging they made as they hit the trolley next to her. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Yuko, didn't mean to start here. No, no, that's fine. It happens. A lot. I'm used to it here by now. Okay. Um, can I help you? It's okay. I think I know where everything is. Thanks anyway. Oh, bye, Dad. <laughs> I suppose I'll grab another book or two while I'm here. There's not much else to do, and after reading so much during my stay in the hospital, it's become a hard habit to break. I wander down the fiction section towards the back of the library, scanning the bookshelves for anything that catches my eye. As I do, I look over to the corner where Hanako. I did get rid of the name, right? Hanako! Yes! I'm not a dumb dumb! <laughs> Had been the last time where I was here. Not really expecting anything to come with it. Oh, come on, go sit with her. Surprisingly though, she's there absorbed completely in a fairly thick book. I decide against intruding on her like last time and get back to finding reading material. Oh, come on! She was right there, the most kawaii thing in the world! It's so bad. After an indiscernible amount of time pursuing the aisles, I finally decide on a couple of books to get and slide them off the shelf. With a minimum of fuss, I quickly walk over to the counter, check out my books, and pop them into my bag as I walk out. And there we go. By the time I leave the main building, the sunset isn't too far away. A small trick of the students remain, but the majority have left. Presumably to their homes and dorms. I guess I need to buy some supplies. 
I like how I live off cafeteria food and eat it in out for my entire life to stay here. I'm, I'm actually serious. What happened earlier actually scared me legit, legitly. Loud noises startle me. I can't help it. I'm noise sensitive. <laughs> oh dear. As I leave for the gate, I make a few loud stretches. Try to stave off the tiredness that's accumulated over the week. Oh, hello. I thought I put you on mute. God damn it, Farron. You intrude on everything I do, I swear. Uh, God damn it. God damn it, Farron. I twice went through and ran in the corner, though. I see a solitary figure walking downhill towards the small town below. The colour of her hair and tapping of her cane are unmistakable. We all know who this girl is. <laughs> it's Lily. I quickly walk up to her, which seems to catch her attention without a word needing to be said. Hi, Lily. She takes a moment to place the voice, slightly adjusting the head to face a bit more towards the source of my voice as she does. Sal? Yep, that's me. She seems to have a good memory for voices. She has to. The fact that she actually remembered is a pleasant surprise. Can't be that mean about it, can you, Hello. Good evening. What brings you here? Once again, she gives a small, polite bow. <laughs> and once again, I reply in time before realising that I needn't do so. Just going into town, you? My, my, what a coincidence. Doing the same thing, eh? Yeah, I guess she is. I usually go shopping on Fridays. Oh, okay. She pauses for a moment, suddenly looking a little lost. That said, Hanko usually comes into the town with me. Oh, yeah, she was in the library, wasn't she? Ah, not lost, but worried. The two do seem to keep pretty close tabs on one another. Yep. It's kind of surprising that Hanako would just forget Lily like that. The book she's reading. <laughs> I don't know reading in the library. She probably just got caught up in the book. Hmm. So that's that small lost sigh relief. Thank you. She has a habit of doing that. Yep, okay, she's had it. Avid reader? Is that what she is? Right, she doesn't like being around crowds of people, so reading away from everyone lets her relax a bit. Okay. Well, she probably didn't intend it. I can't help my grimaces. I recall my first meeting with her. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit painful, sadly. Oh, they wanted to bring it up. I remain silent as we quietly continue to walk down the quiet road. With the road burst of cars and the students of Yamaku increasingly far behind us. The quiet rustling of the leaves and the measured tapping of Lily's cane against the sidewalk are all that can be heard. It's kind of nice, especially compared to the hustle and bustle of where I used to live. Before I know it, I flex so much that I have drawn scares before I can control it. Oh dear. Ty, <laughs> god damn it, she's laughing about it, Ty. Yeah. Been running ragged these past few days. That's an understatement to be sure, yeah. Transferring into a different school would be bad enough. Like this. Well, hopefully everything should settle down for you. The festival's got everyone in the spin right now, and you've been plopped right in the middle of things. Yeah, that's true. For a moment I hesitate, but given her apparent tolerance and frankness, I decided to give my full thoughts. Yes. Yamaku's kind of different though. I mean, the formality surrounding everything, the isolation around it. What's the most the most obvious difference? It's kind of a whole different mindset. I suppose I get used to it though in time. Yeah, definitely. She gives a matter of fact nod apparently pleased with my answer. It's almost as if she'd included me in the flock of students she's shepherding among, along with class 3, 2 and Hanago. Hmm. I didn't think of it like that. Oh, well, not, that, not that I mind. It's nice to get the force off my chest in any case. Yes. Sharing half the burden helps you a lot. My goodness. A lot. Looking on the bright side, one could see it as a chance for a new beginning. We should cherish the ability to make new friends. Yep, that's that's optimistic. Yep. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's good to have a positive attitude to, about such a thing, I suppose. I guess that's a good take on it. It, it, it pretty much is. Man, we are going into town, aren't we? Joe, you know I'm going to pop a save quick. Because I think that would be a good idea. So let's see. Pop a save right here. There we go. Walking on down the road, she seems to become somewhat unsettled. Before I can ask her what's on her mind, she seems to collect herself and speak up, speaks up about something else. Ooh, what is it? So, where in town are you going? That's actually a pretty good question. Oh yeah, we don't know the town, do we? I come in to buy food, but the layout of the place is still totally foreign to me. I had intended to just wander around and see what I could find, but 
Sunset already approaching a nightfall not too far away. That doesn't seem very wise. No. Oh gosh, pardon me. I'm going to have to ask her for directions. Again. <laughs> I was go I was just going to get some food. But now that you mention it, I don't really know the way. <laughs> well now, this is quite lucky. I was just about to get go to the convenience store myself. She was going to the same place as me. <laughs> Lucky's on my side. <laughs> Looks like I'll be in your care again then. Thanks. Let's give her a walk to the store. My pace is carefully slow to remain beside her. Compared to my usual walking pace, hers is quite a bit slower. Not that it's without reason. Yeah, I was gonna say. After what couldn't be more than several minutes, I catch sight of our objective. This town really is pretty small. Pretty much. They've even got beer. Yes. Beer. <laughs> Actually, I don't like beer that much. I prefer liquors myself. Without further ado, we make our way inside with a greeting from the counter. What if I take along with you? You say Hanako would help me, but seeing as she's not here, yeah, that's alright. It takes a moment before I realise what she means. Um, considering she wouldn't be able to read any of the labels, shopping without any help would be a big pain for her. That said, I can't shake the feeling that she'd had this idea since I was coming here. Sure, it'd be my pleasure. I grabbed two well used red baskets from the small stack beside the entrance, handing one to Lily. Look at it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, she, she lays on the ground, putting her school bag in. Okay, retracting her cane and sliding it. Through the oh, she's carrying her bag and a thing for it while holding onto my arm. Okay. Through the basket before picking it up and back up in her right hand. Wait. She doesn't use her cane. She's gonna use me. Yep. Before I could complete the thought, she comes beside me, pinches the cuff of my uniform in her slender fingers. Okay. It's not clinging around the arm quite, but she's on my clothing. I was close. Is this alright? Uh, sure. <laughs> I have no reason not to accept. I think of worse things than shopping with a pretty girl holding on to me. Even if it's out of necessity. <laughs> there we go. We navigate our way through the store. Not one of the occasional passing customers seeming to bat an eyelid. Soon now, Coach Yamaku is. I can see students from there must be entirely normal for the local residents. Yeah, I'd imagine so. As long as we, as we reach each aisle, I quickly check with Lily and find out what she needs. I grab it along with what I'm looking for. Put our items into their respective baskets. I guess, I guess this is the same routine she and Hanako follow every Friday. Hmm. Right, all that's left is the red and that should be my shopping done. Do you need anything else, Lily? No, this should be everything. Okay. Off we go then. Yes, just a quick side trip to the bakery section. We make our way to the registers. The line, thankfully, is almost non-existent. Yes, no queues. It's not long before we both pay for our food and are out the door. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really nice guy. As Lily retrieves her cane and extends it to full length, I waste a minute looking upwards at the nice guy while holding both our bags. For a moment, I try to make clouds with my breath, but it's but the summer heat doesn't seem to cooperate. Nope. <laughs> Eventually, she writes herself, taking a quick stretch before taking her bag, leaving me to my two. You tired as well? I don't blame her. The festival preparations have been complete chaos. She's neighbor even down my neck doesn't exactly help me either. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. That's kind of terrifying, actually. Hey, she's only trying to get everything organized. Better now than later, right? I suppose. I get to enjoy relaxing in town tomorrow. That's for certain. Wait, what? I guess the festival preparations might be taking the, their toll on both. Yeah, they both need a break. Jesus Christ. <coughs> God damn it, the dust from earlier is just getting my throat. <coughs> Ugh. I'm afraid to swig down another bit in case I have another bit of dust. Ugh. We walk into the quiet street, walking between ourselves as we carry our bags of food and supplies from the store. Wait, what's that? Wait, what do you mean? No, there's a very distinctive figure making its way towards us, silhouetted by the street lamps. Hanako! I bet Hanako. For a second, I think it's another male student from my class, but as he, or I should say she, gets closer, I recognize her quickly. Oh, Nin! Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Nin, Nin, what are you doing now so late? Nin? Nearly posts her head, looking like she's trying to focus on listening more keenly. It suddenly comes to me that I should probably interpret the scene for her. It's Nin, Tezuka. I think was her last name from my school. Yeah, that's right. She stiffens at the name, 
and gives a compl complicated looking expression. Something like a forced fusion of a composed smile and a painful cringe. Oh. Ah, I understand. I guess Lily knows Lynn too. Hmm, I guess so. Lynn turn, turns to look at us, looking terribly out of it. I'm not entirely sure if she's recognised either of us, or at least she doesn't acknowledge us if, if she does. What? She, she looks like a zombie, or a statue. A statue is a zombie. Make up your mind, is <laughs> out. Well, sorry, some symptoms of understanding seem to light in her dark eyes. This is something she must react to. Oh, okay. Lynn blinks once, very thoroughly. Hello. <laughs> Just, hello. Hello. It's me. I'm sorry, I know you've all heard that joke before. Dot. There's an awkward pause. Everyone waiting for someone else to say something. What are you doing here this late? Dot. I. I was wondering about that myself too, just now. I have so many questions. <laughs> Some people asked that just before. I seen they were wondering the same. I didn't know. They didn't know either. I asked. That's why I'm wondering. What? So that's pretty much it. It's a murder mystery about a murder. Then, uh, it's just... So it's just plain pretend? Don't. They were going that way. Turns facing to her, to her right in order to demonstrate the direction the other people went to us. That was important. The run takes back like a mechanical puppet in one of those overly complicated clockworks. Okay. For a person who gives an impression of being the quiet type, Min really does use a lot of words to say things that don't need a lot to be said. <laughs> I guess maybe she doesn't know how to put things. Ah. <laughs> I'm sure she's finished, I say nothing. Neither does Lily, who seems equally robbed of words for the time being. I think that both of us are in fact just scared that any response might provoke her to continue. <laughs> Our stupefied lack of reaction doesn't phase Lynn at all. She keeps looking at us expecting you can't into of expression not on her blank face. So she's just waiting for us to say something. Okay, um, well, this is awkward. <laughs> She seems to be that kind of person, always so relaxed. As if bull elephant grade sedatives were flowing in her veins in the place of blood. Oh, wow, okay. Do you have amnesia? I don't recall you having anything of the sort, though. No, I don't think that's... it's that. The other passerbys were probably just worried, though. You do look really lost, the way you're standing in the middle of the street. Wait, she was just standing there? Okay. Oh, I see. Maybe I should have taken some other kind of pose in that case. <laughs> what? Uh, I ponder for a while whether I should chase this angle further or give up for the sake of my own sanity. I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing mind. I decide on the latter. It seems that most of the time it's not to read too deeply into what Nin is babbling about. Pretty much. Talking with Nin is like playing chess with a supercomputer who does seemingly completely random moves as if to mock everything you know about chess. It's like that. Expect it with human interaction. And even if I win, it feels like losing. Yeah, because you, um, uh, I have so many conflicting feelings about this. Damn, it's just like Inji said. Even when I win, I lose. Is this the power of the girls? <laughs> oh god, I'm believing in the conspiracy. Yeah. I push the fort aside as too dangerous to consider further. Yes, too dangerous. It's probably just Kenji's anti female propaganda getting to me during a moment of weakness. Yes. Uh, maybe taking another pose might have worked. So anyway, you have no idea what you're doing here? <gasps> oh gosh, she does she looks upset. She frowns, looking extremely displeased at either my question, its consequences, or the answer she's about to give. I do have some idea. I can't really tell what kind of an idea. Oh that sounds like progress at least. Yeah, that, that's something that's something it sounds as if she spotted an opening for some kind of discernibly normal conversation. I'll say I share optimism. <laughs> yes, there is some definitely. The rest will come later. I'm sure of it. I always have reasons. Wait a minute, I'm just... This This may be totally, like, not right, but was she possibly tailing me and Lily? I, I don't know, I had that thought that maybe she did. I don't know, I'm just making a round guess. 
The ensuing silence kills Lily's hopes so all too visibly. That did last long. <laughs> Vin's, as far as I can tell, unbased. Assurances aside, what should be done? Could just leave her to our own devices, whatever those are. <laughs> but it's late and I don't think we'll be getting any thanks if Vin is found standing here in the middle of the night. Yeah, there's that as well. But she probably will, unless she manages to remember what she was doing here in the first place. <laughs> as for me trying to guess, what had been going through her mind when she decided to embark on this adventure? <laughs> The chances seem to be on par of winning the lottery. Oh god, not a lot then. Several times in a row. Lily is oddly quiet too. I'd appreciate some support from the sidelines here, especially if she's more fully million than I am. But it can't be helped. It seems her familiarity with Lit Rin. Uh, Lit. Oh my god. Lin is exactly why she's staying subdued. So, I assume you were going somewhere? Not coming back to school. Any idea where? Her eyes widened in shock as she jumps back in some artificial way. Making it seem like an act rehearsed for situations like this. Are you a mind reader? Is that your disability? <laughs> oh, you Is she taking the piss out of me? No. What? Why would you think that? You knew what I was doing. Why, why is she pulling that? <laughs> why is she pulling that face at me like. I'm not so sure you do it anymore. <laughs> what? Just an educated guess. We walked this same street in the other direction just before to get to the store. If you were going to school, we would have met you on the way. Oh. She looks a little disappointed. Like Kenji, Lin appears quick to jump to completely irrational conclusions. Maybe yeah. it's time to get the water here. I make a mental note to stock up on soft drinks. <laughs> you know, this is the second time this week that someone asked if I was a mind reader. Yeah. <laughs> Do I really give off that impression? I remember that actually. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember who said that. Oh, I remember somebody else saying that. Then shrugs the shoulders, which is the answer I get. You know, oh, God's sake, stop! Why does it do that and skip it? Maybe you should come first back to the school. Lily interjects just as I'm about to further debunk my alleged mind reading capabilities. <laughs> she sounds rather concerned. The paper thin smile on her face badly disguised in that fact. Believe me, she came to the same conclusion as I did. For everyone's sake, I decided to let the mind reading topic drop, as it's entirely inane anyway. Yeah, Lou's right. If you can't remember, there's no point saying here. Uh, that's true. Rin considers this rather simple direction for a moment in nods. Okay, we're walking back. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we're walking back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We start towards the school's the school again. I haven't wasted way more time than necessary with this episode. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? It's only been... Okay, I'm actually close to my quota now I think about it. I'm actually not that far off. Okie doke. I'll continue for a few more minutes. We start towards... Oh yeah, we've read that. Lynn walks along the edge of the sidewalk in an arith... arithmetic way. Looking like a mix of sleepwalker and rope dancer. Well, Lily keeps one hand on my shoulder, tapping at the ground with her cane. Okay. Tap, step, tap, Oh, yeah, tap, step, tap, step. <laughs> oh, God. Tap, step, step, tap, tap, step, step, step. There we go. <laughs> Apart from that and a few fragmented beginnings of conversation, it's quiet. A quiet, quite apart from the relaxing wanted to town and that, that, that. So how's the mural go mural going? There we go. We are going to get bad luck. Never talk about works in progress. Uh, oh, God, okay. I'm sure it'd be wonderful. Yeah, I'm sure it's bad luck. <laughs> tap step, tap step. She doesn't care to talk about it. This point politeness feels out of place for the first time. Step, step, step. <laughs> Why does tap step step? Come on. The hill Yamaku results on top of is surprisingly steep. Go on a hill, we slow the pace. But I still feel my pulse rising and breathing getting heavier. <sighs> so big this hill. <laughs> oh, what's that? I can see the gates already. Oh, I don't know though. I noticed that Lily's hand slightly tightens on my shoulder. Ooh. Interpreting it as suggested that she wants to ask something. I speak up. Anything wrong, Lily? Yeah. I was just here to say aside from our travelling companion, but only just who <laughs> goes. <laughs> don't be rude now. That's that. That be that be mean. For a moment, she seems to debate whether she would she should even bring it up. Goes for it anyway. Is everything all right? What do you mean? All right. How do you mean? That I can't interpret. Her incredibly vague question puts her off for a second. She can hear my ragged breathing, can't she? It's just, you seem unusually tired, I guess. Yep. 
Fools I. <laughs> oh, she brings up. I noticed that my breathing is strangely heavy. The uphill walk has really done a job on me. They noticed it. Oh, to oh God. Oh goodness me. Sorry, I'm not in a good con I'm not in very good condition. I don't really want to talk about it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna end this part here. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but I think it's a good place to end it on here because this is a really interesting choice because I think this can change the entirety of the, the game for me. This, I mean, I, I bet lots of choices already have done that in this game, but I think this one will change how it will play out for me with so many things right now. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> man, I can't believe earlier though I got jump scared by Yuko when she was in the library. Jesus <laughs> anyway guys, sadly now I'm more allowed to have this part. So I'd like to see you guys now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you want any more from me. And I'll see you in my next video. So much joy, guys. <laughs> oh man. Um, I still can't believe I got myself scared. <laughs>